Welcome, Anna. Thank you. Um, so you run something called Jet Set Babe. Yes. So how do you teach? And is it just women you teach? Would you teach men to bag a billionaire wife or girlfriend? I don't teach women how to bag a billionaire specifically. I teach women only how to enter the high society and how to transform themselves and live up to their potential and uh, perhaps uh, live a luxurious lifestyle as a result. And is that because this is something you've done? Because you don't come from a wealthy background, no, do you? No, that's correct. So what age did you decide, I, I want this wealthy lifestyle, how am I going to get it, and what did you do? Well, for me, it all happened very spontaneous. Um, I left Sweden, where I'm from, when I was 19 to live in Italy. And spontaneously in Italy, I found a wealthy man. Well, actually, he was only three years older than me, but he was this typical kind of rich kid. And he introduced me to this affluent lifestyle of his. And kind of once you've tried the luxurious lifestyle, it's hard sometimes to go back. Yeah. But I never seeked it out consciously. It was a subconscious thing. But once you've tasted it, the high life, as people yeah. say, um, it's hard to maintain if you haven't got money. Oh, definitely. So for me, of course, I've been able to maintain this uh, luxurious lifestyle through the men that I've always been with. Mm. And that's not something I'm ashamed of talking about. But Anna, what is the main uh, secret to all of this? Is the main secret getting the billionaire to pay or getting the billionaire to fall in love with you? Absolutely both. And I believe that you can have both. Um, it's part of being, um, the point is being part of his lifestyle, you know. I think it's good for I think it's a, like in today's society, women can actually benefit from the men. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, which is exactly what I teach in my own In this training. society now, the message is always about women being independent. It's about equality. Women are still fighting for equal pay, equal rights. Uh, surely this is not the best message to be <laughs> sending young women to say, don't worry about all that. Don't worry about an education or being independent or getting a job and looking after yourself. Just find yourself a rich man and he'll look after you. Well, you see, I'm was sure you were going to ask this question because people tend to immediately jump to conclusions that that's exactly what I teach. That is not true. I teach women to, of course, be independent but I teach them to be clever, to have savings, to have an education, to have work experience. If that day happens when the man perhaps will leave them or they want to leave the man, they can take care of themselves. But how can you be independent, Anna, if you're living off a man well, and you don't have any money? If you're not working yourself and your whole lifestyle is built around a man paying for everything, if he does leave you... You're scuppered, aren't you? Because you don't have anything. You don't have any backup. I understand what you mean. What, I, what I'm talking about is that the women should have the choice to choose if she wants to work or not. I don't think it should be forced upon a woman in the high society if she wants to work or not. And I don't think women should be judged uh, if they are working or not. I do support that women should have something going on for themselves. For instance, look at me. I have an affluent man in my life. I am doing something with my life. I'm not just sitting at home looking pretty. And that's not... And basically, I'm trying to be a role model mm. for the women that I, that I teach. But, Anna, can anyone be a jet set babe, to be introduced to high society, to survive in high society, do you need certain skills? Absolutely, and that is exactly what I teach in my course, in my program. Basically, you need to be on the level of the high society. There are unwritten rules that we have to adapt to if we want to be part of that lifestyle. So that usually means you have to do a transformation with yourself. I have done a transformation... With your looks, you mean? Yeah, with your looks, with your behaviour, with everything. What, do you, what have you changed about your looks to well, fit in? I have, uh, I have lost weight. I have lost about 15 kilos. I don't know how much that is in pounds. Nor um, do I. <laughs> <laughs> I have done a nose job. I have fillers in my cheekbones and in my chin. But if you hadn't have done all that, are so you saying a billionaire wouldn't have looked at you before you had all that done? He could have, of course, looked at me. There are billionaires and multimillionaires and millionaires who have what we call more like plain Jane type of girlfriends. But that is more a smaller group of them. Majority wants to have a high like a high caliber woman by them mm. size. I just want to look at the way you were. And do, do you think you were plain Jane? I think you were very attractive Ooh. there. Really. I think it's, <laughs> thank when you, you so look, much. You look very lovely now. It's just like yeah. saying but that a woman's an accessory, that you're just a pretty accessory that looks nice. I think we have to be honest with the fact that we live in a very superficial world. So why, why beat around that bush? Mm -hmm. um, if you want to have the prime mate, you have to be in your best state, basically. Anna, let me ask you, with Jet Set B, 
Abe, what is your uh, percentage of success? Because these men who you're talking about, they can buy anything. They can have absolutely anything in life. They can change things to the latest model, literally, whether that be a speedboat, whether that be a car, or whether that be a girl. Yes. Is it difficult to hang on in there? What is your success rate, do you reckon? I would say that men are still men. And men are also... If you know how to touch the men in the weakest points, meaning through love, through <laughs> sexuality, <laughs> through femininity, then you really can bag the billionaire or the millionaire that you want. When you say you're feminine... Femininity, I can't even say Femininity. it. Femininity. But is that not just... That, that's just taking us back and back to what women didn't want to be. I don't want to massage a man's ego to make him like me. Why not? I don't want to change my appearance Why so not? he thinks I look pretty on his arm. You were very plain I when want... I met you. <laughs> I with no social skills. I wouldn't skills. want any daughter of mine. I didn't have a daughter, but I did. I wouldn't want her to... to to think of herself in that way. I don't think everybody has to do this. I'm talking now to a specific type of woman who is interested in upgrading her lifestyle and have a luxurious lifestyle. Some people lifestyle. would use the word gold digger. Have you heard Well, that? I think gold digger is a, a, very, a word that has a very bad reputation. And I don't really agree with that. That's not what I'm teaching women to become gold diggers. But you are teaching them to only look for a rich man. What about not love? Not at all. Of course, love. I have love in my life. And, uh, but you have to understand that all women prioritise having love as well. Some women do, and I have, a majority of those women are in my community. But could you love a, could you love a poor man? Um, of course you can, but the question is... <laughs> you couldn't. Well, I don't think I could because, for me, I do prioritise a comfortable lifestyle as much as I prioritise love. So, for me, that's very important. Well, Anna, very yeah. interesting talking to you. Anna is the founder of what's called Jet Babe. Jet, uh, Jet Set, Set Babe. Babe <laughs> which I used to present a show called Jet Set. Really? Yes. <laughs> very true. I should have been on there. <laughs> that's as far as it went, uh, really, with, with that. Uh, it's an online finishing school for women who want to date a millionaire or a billionaire. And I thought it was very interesting when Anna says, basically, you just hone in on men's primal instincts. Their egos. Very, and they're very easy to predict. Yeah, their egos. Whether they you're have so money. You're so clever. You're so clever. <laughs> and you're so funny. <laughs> You can say that now because you got what you wanted. You bagged what you wanted. I did, that yeah. was it. I didn't have any money, but I bagged uh, them. Anna, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very you. much indeed. Thank, thank you. you.